And you on key? Just keep you in the car. Excuse me. Right. Yeah, I think it's completely given up the ghost now. Which is quite annoying, but it's booked in to get fixed. Which is great because it means I don't really have to worry about it anymore. Oh, feels good to not have to talk about door handles much. Wow, it's windy today. But it is nice and sunny. Hey, Maggie, just dropped us for preschool. Do you want coffee? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Excellent. I'm taking Soph to pick up her car with the new tyres. She's going to go get Jasper and then go on to a sort of play date and I'm going to come back and do some paperwork. Ugh. January. It's full of two things. Bills and paperwork. Yeah, definitely no luck. Makes me feel even happier about the fact that I'm getting it sorted in a few days time. That's the car seat popped into Soph's car. So what I thought I'd talk about for the remainder of today, because it's a bit of a slow news day for me in terms of my life. I'm a little bit not going on a play date with Jasper and Soph. They're off at one of Jasper's little friend's houses eating macaroni and cheese, which does sound really nice. So instead, now I've finished the editing, what I'm going to do is talk to you about autopilot batteries, and whether I personally would lease or buy an electric car. First off the list, autopilot. I've long maintained that one of the massive advantages that Tesla have got when it comes to autopilot is the fact that they've got so many cars out there gathering data. And ultimately, the autopilot self-driving car solution of the future is going to be an artificial intelligence system. That's what's going to be at the heart of it. That's what's going to be making the thing work. So, given that that's the case, what do you need to train AI? Maybe there'll be some fantastic breakthrough in artificial intelligence in the next few years, but at the moment, what you need more than anything is an absolutely enormous data set. If you want to make your telephone able to identify cats in pictures reliably, what you need is not 10 or 20 pictures of cats, but a million pictures of cats. That's one of the reasons Google is so good with AI. So in that respect, Tesla is miles ahead, and I will be absolutely amazed if they aren't the first company to have a proper, fully functioning, reliable, self-driving car. The next thing I was going to talk about briefly is batteries. I'm quite a big believer in electric vehicles and battery technology in particular as a future enabler of renewable energy and of mankind getting to the point where it is energy self-reliant and doesn't have to dig up dead animals from a million years ago in order to power our civilization. Well, Samsung has announced that it's got a new battery. It's going to be able to make EVs with this thing that will do 383 miles to the charge and you can charge it to 80% in 20 minutes. It's some sort of fantastic, I don't know what, honestly I have no idea. What I do know is battery chemistry is very complex. Most of the time the people who make it don't even really know why it works. What we do know is that it's gonna be about, uh, where are we now? Oh, we're in 2017, so it's gonna be four years before they expect vehicles to be rolling off the production line with these batteries. But it does speak to the fact that we are talking about a, a real business that builds batteries, that runs battery factories, that's talking about implementing this, as opposed to what you often hear when it comes to future battery announcements, which is some scientist somewhere has made a battery that can do a thousand miles if it was in an EV, and it can charge in two minutes from flat to full, which is amazing, except what tends to happen is when you actually look into it, you find out that the battery they've produced is, and then you ask them, well, how long did it take you to make that? And they say, oh, a month. And you're thinking to yourself, 
that doesn't sound easily scalable and that's usually where the problem is with these new energy storage mechanisms that come along. It doesn't mean they won't eventually be commercialized but what it does mean is that the theoretical side is oftentimes easier than the practical side. And then there's the thing that I really wanted to talk about which is would you lease or would you buy? Now okay looking at the timer on the clock for this I'm thinking maybe this maybe should roll over onto tomorrow's vlog post because I think it's potentially quite a big subject. In fact, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you tomorrow whether I would buy or lease a car, specifically an electric one. So previously I had a Nissan Leaf. Now I have a Tesla Model S. I bought them both, but one of them I should have leased it. I wonder if you can work out which one I think was the right or wrong decision. Oh, hi. Um, the Hello. car seat's in my car, by the way. I've owned two EVs. One of them I should have leased, and the other one, you know, if I could go back again, one I'd lease and one I wouldn't. Which one? <laughs> Which one would you lease? Yeah. Oh, the <laughs> I'm cold. Right. You should be You trying. also a little, you, you also look a little bit like a, a broccoli, or a, maybe a Brussels sprout with arms and legs. This is yours, I bought this for you. Oh, thank you so. Yeah. Now, hang on a second. Let me just see if I've got this right. I'm supposed to wear that in public on the internet. Mm. But you're not allowed to swan around in your tracky bums. Try it on, it might look good. Okay, honestly, what were you thinking? It was on sale. And we've got matching ones too. Oh, great. Oh, matching yeah. ones? Yeah, for like being at home and chilling out at home. Yeah. I am not convinced by this. Soph confided in me that the only reason she bought it was because it cost £2.99. So bearing that in mind, actually it looks pretty good. Okay, I think this is probably where I'm going to call today's video to a close. I hope you found it interesting. If you have, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog when we will find out how I feel about leasing and buying of electric vehicles at the moment. With specific examples. Well, my own personal specific example, at any rate. Bye. Oh God. Really? Uh. <laughs> Maybe if it gets really, really dirty, it will be acceptable. Ah. Hello, well it's up in the summer house doing its job and I'm a little bit